Welcome everybody to episode 32 of this Let's Play series of Age of Wonders Planetfall as the Oathbound. In our last episode, we took out another spawner over here and we started sending our forces south. We're crossing the ocean here, sorry, the this like strait, and we're going to put some pressure on Zana to relieve Stein's forces because he is having a rough time right now. He's fighting Zana on this border here and losing slowly because his forces are di diverted, being diverted over here to the Endbringer, uh, the Voidbringer sp spawner here. And there's the, the main one is here, so I think they're getting possibly double spawns. I don't know for sure, but this one is at least giving him a lot of trouble. He lost cities. He's been taking them back. He's going to lose this one again. So I'm trying to put some pressure on Zana so I can help out. I'm kind of abandoning my war with Toku over here. Um... Why are you expanding into here? Why did you do that? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to... I'll have some defensive forces up here, but I'm not looking to make any advances on Toku right now. Uh, maybe if I can get some more troops. But these are pretty basic. These are just to hold the line. Uh, upgrade our hero. We have two points. That's not enough to do anything. War is required. You stay there in the water. We are waiting on the floaties to come back. I had to divert the floaties over here to fight the spawner. Uh, you can go down the other hex. And yeah, we're ready to end turn. Oh no. Our scout's getting attacked. Well, that's going to be a loss. Wait, what? Wait. Oh, because my <laughs> my auto combat used eight tactical points to win that fight. Well, feel a little dumb about wasting all those points, but uh, can't can't undo it now. Uh oh, world event: planetary pollen cloud. The rate of springtime reproduction on this planet is off the charts. All at once, every piece of flora has shot their seeds or spores or pollen into the air, leaving it to be carried off by the wind. Everything is covered by giant clouds of pollen and affecting all living beings. Uh, food income is doubled. Gross. All biological and cyborg units gain plus 200 morale and regenerate 10 health every turn. Plant and bee units also deal 20% more damage. <laughs> what a ridiculous event. I don't have any plants or bees. Oh, the whole world is, like, gunky with pollen. Ugh, I just want to fast forward through these five turns. What the heck? Voidbringer spawner drop location detected. No! No, but... No! You can't do this to me! Oh, God! Why? Dang it! Okay. Oh boy, send in the troops. Here we go again. I can't believe that's gonna drop there. I guess my forward base doesn't protect. Doesn't protect me. Okay, and the pin. I guess switch to making paladins. Because I'm gonna need some fodder units here to go and die in this fight up here. Oh my god, I can't believe I got another spawner coming in. Gosh darn it. Is it just going to straight up destroy this? Huh. Battle won by Independence. Independence attacked Zana and won. Oh, they took over one of her spots. Well, that's good for me. Why are there... Oh, they came from up here. Wow. Pretty far away. Okay, do I need to divert anybody back home now to deal with this? Oh, boy. I mean, I was hoping to put some pressure on Zana. Maybe I'll just send some of these paladins back. You know, I mean, hopefully they're not needed. I, okay, we'll do that. We'll just send somebody back. Uh, let's try to land here. Get ready to disembark next turn. Independence. Oh, no. They, they actually pretty narrowly won here. That was pretty close. He could probably retake that. He just doesn't have any forces left. He's going on the offensive, but they've spawned another army. Yeah, he needs help. He needs some serious help. 
Oh good, I'm Hyrule Awakening. Wish I had more Cosmite, that's my limiting factor right now. Advanced relays, yep. Okay, so we, we researched the High Lord Awakening. So do we want to get... There's some good Arc ones in here, aren't there? What, what are these ones? Send forth Arc energy in a 4 hex cone. Massive impact stagger, does 20 damage, and grants a ton of extra damage. So that's a pretty good offensive close range mod. This unit is shrouded in a powerful Arc field, making it harder to hit. Granting it arc resistance. At the start of each turn of combat, a random enemy within two hexes within a two hex area of effect gets hit with a discharge, taking twelve damage. Additionally, this mod grants two shields. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Interesting mod. Tactical operation for six points. All owned units' arc abilities can stun targets and deal sixty percent extra arc damage for one turn. Gosh, that's a lot. Maybe we'll grab that, and then we'll grab this one for Entropy. One Hex Radius with a Blast of Chaos. Maxwell's Puzzle Box. One random negative effect. Ignoring any... Okay. Interesting. That's really interesting. Text from this unit bypass... Oh, reduce the target's defenses by one shield and one armor. Oh, good. That's awesome. It'd be great on, like, a Herator unit, like the uh, Siphoner. Just blast them from a distance and reduce their shields and armor, and then somebody else runs in. Divide Half-Life. Enemy units in target 3 hex radius take 20 entropy damage. Targets with Entropic Decay or Atrophy take an additional 10 or 20 for both. Hmm, okay. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I want to play with those. Wish I had more Cosmite. I really want to play with the mods. Uh, what? Yeah, you're going here. Uh -huh. Do the hero in the stack? No, you don't. So we'll switch. <laughs> switch off so the hero's commanding the stronger army because usually the heroes have buffs for everybody. I'm sure you do in here somewhere. And you're just on holding pattern, actually, now that we've got extra things to deal with. So that means I can't be certain that they won't keep spawning over here. So I must leave. I think I have to... Do I have to leave my floaties home? I don't know. I really want to go help. I think I'll send the floaties. And... It'll be fine. Because I've got this army back home. And... Uh, Tian has some armies around here to hopefully help out. So let's just go park it in Carbon Heights. That way we're kind of in the middle. So we can head either direction. Is this Groxum's army? Yeah, you just stay put. Stay put. The scout nearly got destroyed. But with the help of several hundred credits of energy <laughs> and most of my tactical points, I was able to win the day. So purifiers. Devar purifiers are strong. Aren't they? Don't they have the, um... Well, they don't have that buff. Hmm. What are you guys modded with? Uh, consumes... Okay, that's a waste of Cosmite. And, yep, these units are poorly made. <laughs> I mean, they're still, like, stronger, because they've got a lot of mods on, so they do a lot more damage and more defenses and stuff, but, like, these mods just don't synergize super well. Man, they're spending a ton on Cosmite for these guys. Look at this. 10 Cosmite, 5, so that's 25 Cosmite per Trencher, there's 5 here. It's 200 and, nope, 125 Cosmite in Trenchers. Weird. What are you doing? I don't know. Oh, you're going down around this way. Like this away. We'll just, oh no, there's a Marauder there, I don't want to go closer and lose my, my scout. This auger needs a job. You just wait there. We're collecting to get ready to fight over here. Townsend Folly doesn't have anything to do. I think making more energy is probably good here. Looks like I'm getting a little bit low. Can annex another sector. Ah, cool. Maybe we can actually pay to uh, connect. There we go. 
So I've integrated this into my society. And this is a nice sector, actually. Uh, the sector is producing five Cosmite, two influence, 10 energy, and it's a level five production e exploitation. So 30 flat and five slots for people. It's a food sector. Not really what I needed, although the city doesn't have one. Um, cool. So now I can do... Non-elite units are produced with plus two armor. Elite units are produced with plus one armor. So what are my galleons I'm making? They're probably not elite. Yeah, they're not elite. So let's produce the non-elite units with plus two armor. And that'll be cool because then when we our galleons will be a lot stronger. What are they right now? Two shield, two armor. So they'll have four armor and two shields. Don't need to upgrade that. I think I can pump this up high enough to make it one turn. No, very, very nearly. I need... That's, what, 180? And I make 178. Wait a minute. No, yeah, so I need three more production to be able to make this in one turn. That's too bad. So let's lower this until it makes a difference. So right there. And then we'll put the rest of these into energy. Maybe a couple into here. There we go. Next, another sector here, huh? Oh, I... Oh. Is this a forward base? Yeah, because I had a, a landing there, didn't I? Well. Take that one before she grabs it. And Hi, kitty. Happiness event in Colony. Great forward base, yeah. That unfortunately does not stop the and void bringers from landing. That's production kind ready. Of pretty unfortunate, I gotta say. Production ready. Okay, we've got really good, well developed cities all over the place here. I just these void bringers would stop spawning endlessly behind me. I'm trying to get down here and help, but I have to keep diverting forces to stop the uh, void bringers from landing. I didn't know that they would land this frequently. Maybe I'm getting unlucky because they keep landing by me. If somebody else had to deal with them, I feel like I just need like five turns of without one landing near me so I can get my armies down there. And take out these gosh darn spawners. Oh yeah, here he is. Okay. Okay. Alright, we can get... Oh, the roads are developed though still, that's nice. Okay, this isn't too strong actually. Okay, actually the... Yeah, tier twos. And this one, plus the garrison of course, which is pretty strong. These are not strong units, I have to remember that. Is that there, there will likely be casualties trying to take this. I wish I could get there with more troops right now. I don't know that I can take this out with these troops. I'm guessing not. Oh yeah, my attacker power is bad. Whoops. Oh, I need better troops back here, so I do need this army to get up there. It's only going to add 620. Am I in trouble? I might be in trouble. Received a proposal. They demand Thundering Heights and they'll offer Cosmite. You know, you know what? This is a forward sector. I don't need this. I'll take the Cosmite. Sure, you can have that forward base where Voidbringers are going to land. It does not matter to me. You can't settle there. I don't understand what the point is. She's just like, well, you can't take this. Uh, we want to turn that into a energy exploitation. And then, that's right, we're going to make a secondary military city. So we have production, food, energy, and... Uh, I mean, I can take this one. 
So I have to choose between the military for non-elite units or the heavy duty, no, sorry, not the heavy duty, the civil advanced military. My gosh, I'm sorry. So do I want elite units having two armor or non-elite units having two armor? Biological and cyborg units gain plus five health. So... If I'm making advanced units, they're probably going to be... Heritor, Hylod, Hylord, Paladin, Diviner, and Exemplar. Only one of those is biological, so I think we'll go with the elite units are produced with two extra armor. And then we'll make elite units out of here. Heavy duty manufacturing gives all units plus one armor per tier. Yeah, that's really good. So that definitely cinches it then. And then obviously we can't be making any units until we have this, but I do want to get these things built up. This city growing is actually quite important. Just pump everybody into production. You got. They've got something here, something that's okay. What do I have? Not very strong. Actually, these armies suck. <laughs> what am I doing invading with these? <laughs> I'm not prepared. Oh, operation ready. Okay. Well, here. Oh, target an own colony. Oh, sorry. Right, uh... Did we get back? Oh yeah, this guy. Oh, he lost all of his stuff. He was probably in... Oh, he can't get in the... This is a vehicle for... Oh. So I'll have to put him in like... Uh... Oh, he was in a warden before. That's right. He was a ranged guy. And I'll give him a... Uh... Pff, bomb. Grenade. So he has stun module, arc impact module, and he needs something else. Uh, make the attack jump. Sure. Sounds good. Confirm loadout. Oh, he's not linked to a colony now. What did I give him? Does it not say here? Lord without a colony. Granting economic bonuses, but what kind of bonuses? He was the research one, wasn't he? Wish it said scientific method. There it is. So I want to link him to Hennepin because I'm pretty sure that's still my most uh, highly producing mil uh, for science. Hennepin, yeah. Indomitable Castell is coming up on that. May might beat him one day. Cat is grunting. An excessive amount of grunting down here. Huh. Okay, they're almost healed up, so I think. What's in here? Some random marauders. Turn off tactical operation. There we go. Just a little bit of free experience there on our way down. Maybe we should beeline for the spawner to get some pressure for off of the stein here. Oops. Split those up accidentally. Okay, we've got... It's good to know what's going on over here. What's this? Oh, grail. I, don't know, I can't deal with that right now. Stein won a battle here, got a city back, but there's another one attacking him. At least he's got forces. He might survive. Oh, he's got another one coming here. He's trying to go and colonize. He needs so much help. He's just getting obliterated down here. Oh, poor guy. I, I really do feel bad for him. I've definitely felt felt that from the Voidbringers in, a other, in another gameplay uh, playthrough of mine.
Dare's Promise has some stored up production. I can actually make a unit instantly if it's low enough. 174. 150? Not quite there. 150. Do I want something like a heavy hitter? I mean, I have the Cosmite, so maybe I should uh, grab one. 453 production. Let's build a heavy hitter. I'm gonna make some more siphoners. Not quite, not quite. Oh, you can actually have more people in production. Although you're gonna need somebody in happiness, might as well put them in now. On Hill can annex their last sector, it looks like. One, two, three. So we wanna grab. Looks like this one. Chalice crack. And how many galleons do I have here? What is it time? They are 1,200 strength. I mean, yeah. Screw you, Toku. Lost a galleon, that's okay. We'll raise that. You don't deserve that. Maybe we need the ships first. We'll, we'll build that when we, when we have the luxury of it. I know I just changed this last turn, but I don't want to gamble on it. And it's another sector, huh? One, two, three. So you're going to probably have, it would have been this one, but now it's going to be a couple water sectors, so probably this one. Townsend, Folly, Towns, Townsend. I've been saying, saying Townsend. I guess it could be either. Anyway. I guess this one. Oh, lost by independence. Okay, they recapture their relay. Happiness Knowledge. event in colony. Sector lost, thundering heights. It's not lost, I, I um, traded it. Production ready. Production ready. Okay, we're ready to end. Operations prime? primed and ready. Cluster mine deployment. I guess we can get it ready. And Blessing of the Aztec could be priming too. Okay. Not making a ton of money. I'm spending a lot of money right now. Stein has a pro, uh, they want open borders. Yeah, 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 that's actually, oh, he's like, please come through my territory. I forgot I didn't have open borders with him. Okay, do you need help, Stein? Oh my God, you need so much help. I lost that city again, friend. Oh God, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. This guy's a little slower than the floaties, but I don't really want to leave him behind. He represents 723 power by himself. That is incredible. But we're coming. We're coming with uh, 24, 2500 power. Tian won a battle. What the heck? Why were there so many drained? That's. Oh, because it was a Heritor site. An essence pool. Neat. Battle lost by independence. Good, good, good. This militia won that fight. That's good. And, okay, so the Void, oh, Tier 4 is left in there. Might not be easy to retake that. Production ready. Okay, they have not produced any units yet, so maybe I can take this out now? Oh, I think I can. I have a fair number of forces right here. Why can't you get there? Okay. Oh, because there's a road here. So, um, just 
like two of you scoot over to there. Crap, one of you scoot to here. <laughs> Maximum micromanaging. Okay, one of you go there. You guys go there. Okay. Oh, I can get... Oh, no, these guys can't get there. Okay, let's see if... What's our power here now? 23... 25? Gosh. My biological units heal every turn, though. That could make the difference. Let's do a quick save. And then we're going to auto this, because I, I don't... Wow, there's only one Voidbringer in the whole army. Let's auto it and see what happens. I won real easily. That makes sense, because probably all they had to do was kill this, and then they won. I lost a single. So I have one health. Man, the auto combat is so good at doing that. Okay. That's... Uh, yeah, cause my reward. That's great. Well... No point in making a forward base. I guess I could annex this and make it a uh, residential, and then it, maybe they won't drop there. I could try it. Townsend Folly can hold one more sector. It would have been this one, but if we do this one and do residential... Volcanic Climb. People don't like that. Minus eight. Isn't there a uh, research that gets rid of that? Colonies ignore economic penalties from volcanic terrain, but not the happiness penalty. We'll take a negative eight hit, but it might stop them from landing here. So let's do it, and we'll turn it into a residential, and if it if they end up landing here again for some reason, I can just release it as a forward base and not take the hit. So, not, not ideally what I want to be doing here, but I don't have much of a choice. Just make energy, please. Do you have anything to do? Positronic okay, tech. Those. Unexploited sector. Grab that one. And we'll just wait here because he keeps trying to capture this spot back and I don't want him to have it. Huh. It's a strong army for only having three units in it. They're really upset though. Oh, now we're at war. I'm dumb. <laughs> Oh, there's six more units right here. Oh. Well, maybe I can't do that after all. Yeah. Shoot. But hopefully this is easing off some of the pressure. Am I in an alliance? With Stein? Yeah, we are. Traded my Cassus Belli for uh, overcoming dislikes. So we should like each other a hundred more. That's good. Doesn't like you enough to accept a better diplomatic state. That's interesting. Pronouncements. Let's compliment him. Uh, you've completed an empire task. Okay. Negotiate. Non-aggression pact. Let's do that. Perfect. We could also do a defensive pact. Great. And... Do you want to do an alliance? No, you don't like that one yet. Okay. Do you want to... Sh um... Okay, we'll just, we'll just leave the ball in your court for a minute here. Beacon shield has been damaged. Three or four spawners destroyed. Destroy beacon. But I've destroyed four myself. I don't understand why it's at three of four. Maybe it was because... I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. I've actually participated in five being destroyed. So why is it three of four? OK, 
Okay, you guys can head back down to the war front again. Media landing. Oh, Zana's taking this. We're not going to let her have that. We'll go here. We'll um, mess with her with her stuff over here as we go. We can meet up with Stein's forces over here and hopefully we can either push together or something. That would be nice. What is this surveyor drone pick up? No locations to reveal. Oh, there's a marauder right in there. Let's just take a peek at it. Okay, we don't want to get caught over there. So we'll just go around. Sector annexed. Production ready. Production ready. Okay, we'll in turn. I think we're about, about all out of time for this episode, so we'll see if anything really weird happens at the end of this turn. Okay, looks like no. I just want to check this one battle report. Stein uh, took his city back over here. Yeah, he is, he is running out of forces. Look, he's got very thin troops left over here. I'm almost there, Stein. I'm almost there. How far can this one move? Maybe I need to get this one here as fast as possible. And this one will just trail behind a little bit. When it gets there, it'll just be a huge boon to the to the forces. So the idea is that we get over here, intercept the next spawn. Oh, or help him retake this city. Oh my god. Or go directly for the spawner, because honestly, that thing is just crushing it. And uh, there's two of these... They're not that tanky, but man, like their damage output, like they just snipe things to like in one shot. So so horrible. But yeah, they're they're pretty squishy actually. So we could probably take these out with okay, especially in melee. Teleport in with my. Nope. Oh yeah, here's one. Archimedia. What does it take to switch to this one? Thirteen Cosmite. It's probably not worth it, even though this one doesn't work. And this one's kind of bad since he's flying, but yeah, I don't think it's worth the money. They, they still make it more powerful. So we'll, we'll look into that on the next episode and we will uh, we'll keep getting down here. We got to help Stein out. These forces are going to harass Zana so that she has feels like she can't fight Stein as much. Oh, good. He took this city back. Excellent. And we have uh, some more troops coming down. We've taken this sector here and we're going to try to uh, sorry this one here I'll turn into residential and hopefully that'll stop them from landing on my continent uh, but yeah they could still land over here again but I have some forces in reserve so we will take a look at that on the next episode so join me then and thanks for watching